Hello everyone. This video walks through completing Packet Tracer Assignment 7.3.2.3 Configuring RIP NG, which stands for Next Generation, and this lab is a part of the Routing and Switching Essentials Cisco Network and Academy curriculum. Now hopefully at this point you've already completed our previous Chapter 7 lab, which was Configuring RIP Version 2. Remember RIP Version 2 handled uh, dynamically sharing uh, routes in the IP table for different routers with other routers participating also in RIP version 2 but it was for IP version 4 addressing. RIP NG handles the exact same thing so it still uses hop count as its determining decision making factor. Um, it still shares automatic updates with the other routers participating in RIP. Um, you know, you still worry about the networks that are directly plugged into the router you're working on so that you can enter those in, but it handles it for IP version 6 networking, okay? So, if you got your directions pulled up, okay, I'm going to zoom in here on R1, that is where we begin, okay? So, we type enable, go into configuration mode. Now, one thing we did already kind of learn here uh, this semester is that the kind of how to configure IP version 6 interface right with IP addressing so you remember we had to start with IPv6 unicast routing we always have to start with that command to basically enable IPv6 networking on a router okay now just like we added uh, we add you remember if we did um, like showing our IP table or doing stuff we did IPv6 like for instance I, instead of IP address command we did IPv6 address so here we're going to do kind of the same thing we're going to do IPv6 router rip instead of uh, instead of just router rip and then we also have to add in a word here like a string of characters is basically what it is um, to define your name for your router rip uh, IP version 6 configurations on R2 or sorry on R1 and it'll come back later um, so note what you're doing there, okay? And then we can exit out. So all the commands that we're going to be entering in actually are not entered in under this part right here like we did with RIP version 2. So we need to look at, in RIP version 2, we looked at what was the network address of the router or the networks that were directly plugged into our router. Now we're going to look at what port were they plugged into. So we've got a LAN over here, the 2001 colon DB8 colon 1 colon 1 colon colon 4 slash 64. That network is plugged into G00. Keep that in mind. The other network directly plugged in is serial 000. Keep that in mind. So we go back to R1 and you look in your directions, it tells you to go to that specific interface and enable IPv6 rip that same name for it and enable it. Okay. The other port we said note was serial 000. And then underneath that port, where we would normally do stuff like put the IP address and turn that port on, set a clock rate even if it's a serial one, we're actually going to enter in the um, IPv6 RIP, whatever words you put there, it doesn't have to be Cisco, just whatever words you put here, you need to keep that consistent through here, okay? And we'll do that under each specific interface, okay? And now we're going to save our configurations, okay? And that is it. A lot simpler than RIP version 2, right? Even though IP version 6 can be scarier, uh, the RIP protocol for it is actually quite easier, okay? So let's do that same thing, but on R2. Okay, so on R2, enable config T. We're going to enable IPv6 unicast routing, okay? And then we're going to do IPv6 router rip. We're going to keep the same name, okay? And then we can exit out. Oops, sorry, screen experience and technical difficulties. Now the ports on R2 that are directly plugged in are G00. S001 and S000. Okay, so we want to go into all three of those and do IPv6 RIP 
Cisco enable interface S000 IPv6 RIP Cisco enable and interface S001 IPv6 RIP Cisco enable and then I'm going to do a copy run start to save my configurations okay so we had to go into three directly connected ports there on R2 lastly we go to R3 we got two ports we got a serial 001 and a G00 okay so we'll do enable configuration mode IPv6 unicast routing IPv6 router rip Cisco you can exit out of that and we said we needed to go into G00 IPv6 rip Cisco enable interface S001 was the name for the one plugged into R3 IPv6 rip Cisco enable okay so that way it'll start sharing off of those ports so you don't even need to put in the the network address you just need to put in what port do you have IP version 6 networks connected to now I'm going to fast forward time a little bit here and now I'm going to look at show IPv6 route okay alright now so here we see it learned about it through RIP for these two networks right and this one down here okay R2 same thing now remember it's not show IP route it's show IPv6 route to show your IPv6 routes that it learned about through RIP now if you don't press the fast forward button a couple times you may not quite see them yet um, that is because remember RIP is a little bit slow to converge okay meaning for each router to send its update because remember R1 has got to update R2 vice versa then it's going to update R3 then it's going to make sure it has R3's information so it's kind of like you know making sure like a round robin type of thing um, but you know separately so alright and if we look that should give us a 100 out of 100 for our lab assignment alright so remember in this lab we learn again sorry for the screen technical difficulties there we learned that RIP NG does the exact same thing um, except for a few differences in configuration commands but it still uses the same metric as far as hop count not looking at the you know anything else but the hop count um, how you configure it though is a little bit different you share the port instead of the network all right so hope that helps and look forward to uh, working on some labs in chapter eight